right? Hello, and thank you for tuning in to this month's episode of the Tinkle Hoy podcast. <laughs> I joke, of course. We are the unprepared, uneducated, unresearched podcast on the internet, most on the internet. And I am your host, Quentin Osterhout, and I am joined with Juan, the other host. Gutter's and- still not with us. He's busy at his work, always tired. I mean, we're all always tired, I, yeah. mean, I guess. But I guess I'm a little more flexible than Gunner. But anyways, what, what do we have? Well, I was thinking today we talk about our Valentine's traditions. Which we've kind of, we've kind of formed our own Valentine traditions. They're unusual, unorthodox. From, I guess, just being who we are as people i guess i don't know i don't know how to explain that but i'm not sure either yeah it's just like how does a tradition get formed kind of thing like that two years running right two years running it's a tradition if you do it one year and then next year you do the exact same thing yeah but um what well i should probably start us off huh because i feel like mine's less interesting if you if you think so, uh, so do, should I build up to the tradition yeah. before I actually reveal That's it? That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm doing. Okay, okay. So I want to say about six or seven years ago, around Valentine's, I would just watch a romantic anime comedy, or just a romance anime in general. Doesn't even have to be comedic. But um, I would usually just start it either on Valentine's Day, around Valentine's Day, but that's pretty much all I would do on my Valentine's Day is just watch a show. So after a couple of years, I've kind of formed favorites to do it with. So it's either Baka to Test, um, Gurren Lagann for some reason, for me, sometimes, because it's got elements. Uh, Spice and Wolf... And uh, Bakuman Gatari, or Monogatari, whichever one. I'm not is. sure if I'd count Baka and Test as a romance. It's a romance. Baka to Test is a romance. It's a high key romance, like one of the best ones out there because you can't even like see or feel it constantly, but it's there. Okay. You need to rewatch Baka to Test. Well, I own it, so I guess I can. Yeah. <laughs> um, this year I. Work kind of had me busy a little bit, but I'm pretty sure I went home and I think I rewatched a good amount. Oh, of Black Lagoon as well. Black Lagoon's on there. Neither romance, neither comedy, but it's just like my go to feel good anime. But also, Revy is best girl, so it's like I just watch it for Revy in a way. Yeah. But uh, I, 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 if I had to recommend any of those shows, I would definitely recommend Baka to Test. Baka to Test would be top tier, first recommendation. Spice and Wolf, second tier, but totally different sides playing of the playing field. And you? All right. Well, I guess first I gotta set it up. So my Valentine's tradition, I've talked about it before, involves watching the anime Gurren Lagann. And I, I guess it's suitable because, spoilers for Gurren Lagann, neither character gets with their love interest. They either die or disappear. So I guess, yeah, it's fitting. It's fitting for a single day, for being single during Valentine's Day. You got no one. And if you did, they'd probably just die or disappear. For some reason, I was thinking of uh, the ending to Samurai Jack. For some reason, there's oh. a there's a marriage. Yes, in, in, yes. In Gurren Lagann. Spoilers for there's, there's a mar- there's a marriage, but then she disappears right after. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Like right after they kiss, yeah. she disappears. See, now I don't know which one. You're I'm convinced about. Simone and oh. Yoko died virgins. <laughs> I am convinced that they died virgins. hard fact to fucking bring up like 
I don't want to deal with that, man. I mean, I mean, <laughs> can't. I I was thinking on it yesterday. I was like, you know what? It's kind of hinted that Yoko never dated anyone after Kamina, mm-hmm. and even the other guy. After rewatching the series, I noticed that he kissed her. She didn't kiss him back. Yeah. And then he died. Yeah. And then, yeah, the ending was just her as a teacher still old and Simone just kind of wandering the world old. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I'm convinced they both died virgins. There was more to the world than just love. Or it was a love that couldn't... Who who knows? Who knows? It's something that you just... The one they loved disappeared, so it's like, yeah, they... And they were content with that, I yeah, guess. Yeah, in the next life but or something. But going through it, um, Gurren Lagan. I don't know the year. I know the anime came out in 2007. I'm not sure if that's in Japan or here. Because this was still in the time when it took a couple... When if an anime came out, it would take a couple of years for the dub to come out. Mm-hmm. But one day, my favorite uncle told me that I should check out this anime called Gurren, Gurren Lagan And... It was on Netflix, and I was at my grandpa's, and I put it on one day. This was on Valentine's Day. This is how I got introduced to the series. Yeah. And I watched it, and I binge-watched it. But there's a little tidbit of this of this binge-watch. For some reason, I don't know why, Netflix did not have episode 8. And in episode 8, like I said, we're talking spoilers here, so if you haven't seen Gurren Lagann... Skip to this time step, I guess. Yeah. In episode 8, Kamina dies. They really get rid of that episode? In I Netflix? don't know why Netflix didn't have that episode when I first watched it on Netflix. So, episode 7 ends with them be- with Kamina's like, Yeah, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take the enemy's ship and... Mm-hmm. We're going to take that for ourselves. And then I get to the next episode and everyone's sad suddenly. And I'm like, <laughs> did they just, did this, ep- did I miss something? I mean, did Kamina die off screen? What the heck? And I didn't, I didn't get how Kamina died until after the first half when you get to the recap episode. When it's recapping all the events of the first half of Gurren Lagann before you get to the next episode when it's the time skip. And then I found out how Kamina died. Yeah. But fast forwarding, um, in the year, let me check. Eight years ago, that was... In the year 2012, I moved to Texas. I told, I've, I've talked about that on this podcast before. But uh, we went to a DVD, a DVD store. And um, my stepdad let us all buy a DVD, and I saw Gurren Lagann Volume 1 on DVD. So I bought it because I really enjoyed the series. I'm like, oh, now I own it, but my stupid ass didn't realize it was just Volume 1 and only had so many episodes. I believe it ep- it ended um, just before, just after Nia showed up. Oh, gosh. But I... Bought it, and I was going to watch it, and I put it in, and I find out it's Japanese only. There's subtitles, but this was at the point where I got so used to the dub voices that I wanted to watch the dub, but I couldn't. Mm. So I had this version of Gurren Lagann that was a Japanese version only, not English. And then skipped to seven years ago. 2013. 2013 or 2014, I gave this anime to my um to my best friend, sadly already Travis. And uh, he really enjoyed. It. I remember him telling me like, "Damn it, you got me into this anime, and it ends right there." But you know, we we pirated we we pirated anime back then. Oh, yeah. So he continued he continued the series through pirate memes, and I was actually there. For him to watch the final episode. I remember I came, I came over. It was night. And he was watching the last episode with his little brother. And it was the final fight. And I realized he was going to hate this ending. Because a few days prior we were talking about the anime Guilty Crown. 
and Sword Art Online, and I was saying how I thought Asuka should have died and stayed dead, and Kirito should have died as well. Asuna. Asuna. Asuna, <laughs> yeah. You know what? Uh, Asuka. So many Japanese names that I'm getting them confused. Uh, but I found out that he's a sucker for romance animes as well. And he doesn't really like it when the love interest dies. So from that news, I realized when he gets to the ending of Gurren Lagann, it's like, he's gonna... He's gonna not like the ending. He's gonna love everything but the ending. Yeah, and I, he watched the ending. And that's just kind of a brief thing of Gurren Lagann. But now... Fast forward to. Shoot, let me bring up the image because I actually. I mean, to be honest, I don't really like the ending of Gurren Log on either. I don't either. <laughs> Skip to February 10th, 2014. I don't know what I was doing. I. Looked on Amazon for some anime, and I happened to run across Gurren Lagann, the complete series this time, and I thought, oh, I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy that, and when it comes, I'm going to enjoy watching it. And this was on February 10th. I didn't have Amazon Prime because I was just a high school student, so I didn't have a disposable income as much, I believe. Or I guess I did, but like... Not as much. I, I, I wasn't like subscribed to yeah, a exactly. bunch of things. And, as I've said before, four days later, on February 14th, which would be Valentine's Day, it showed up in the mail with a Happy Valentine's card and thanks for your purchase. And since then, it's just been my tradition that if I'm single and I got nothing going on, I just binge watch Girl and Log On and see other people find love and then lose that love. I think that's why I like Spice and Wolf, because it kind of has a happy, happy-ish ending. Have you watched Spice and Wolf? Not all of it. We season need, I have to watch season two. We need to watch Spice and Wolf. We really do. I think you and I finished season one, but yeah. I never continued to season two. Yeah, or Charlotte. Charlotte's another That's one, one you're on my ass about. Yeah, finishing. I really want you to finish You Charlotte. know what? I will binge watch that tonight, let's and I will do a video. Let's watch an episode. All right. Before, before I, I have to go. All but, right. But, uh... Oh, gosh. Please, 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 please tell us about your Valentine traditions. If you have some, have some suggestions for some Valentine's uh, uh, traditions that could be a thing. Uh, if you have any suggestions for just an, a Valentine's-like episode, because when I think of like uh, animes themed around a certain holiday or anything, I think of um, like Ama Amagami uh, SS Plus. Have you seen that? Yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting one. So you know how um I, I, I was about to say Clanad was based around like a holiday, but it's not. Um, so you know how well, Clan I think they celebrate Christmas in the episode. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. Sure. But um, so you know how Clanad uh, it like the different episodes and arcs are him like pursuing different girls, right? Kind of. It's he's kind of helping in, in, them in the first part. Yeah, the first yeah. part. Uh, well, um, Amagami uh, SS Plus, it starts the show every time with him breaking up with his girlfriend or getting broken up with before Christmas Eve. So he hates Christmas kind of thing. And then... How could you hate Jesus' birthday? Exactly. Right? <laughs> uh, then the that arc is a whole year of him like slowly pursuing or falling in love with a girl. And then it loops back to New Christmas Eve, where, you know, he proposes or whatever. Whatever goes on with his new girlfriend, right? And then it resets back to uh, so when a, he breaks up. So it's a up. time loop anime? or Kind of. It's events a, just keep kind of repeating. It's a parallel universe kind of thing. Oh. Where And, and it also plays into it, because um, if I remember correctly, every episode he like has a, a safe space. And it's his closet where he shuts the door. And he like has like glow in the dark stars and stuff, and it's like. Do you it, have a safe space? No, no, I don't. I don't. That would be a cool thing to make, though, wouldn't it be? Would it? It would be sad. I'm not. I'm not sure. It would be cool. It would be cool. Think about it. 
I, I, th- I think about it. I was going to say, we get some glow, like, what his was, was, like, stars and, like, planets and stuff, and then I think, like, a stream of fate of or something uh, in his closet that glue in the dark when he shut the door. And I don't know, that was a really good, like, Christmas-themed episode, but I can't think of any other shows that do that. Do, like, uh, like holiday-themed it's, yeah, episodes? Yeah, it's, well, like, the whole show or a holiday-themed kind of theme to it. I guess maybe that sort of online episode on Christmas. But uh, yeah, that's an episode. You know when everyone dies. Yeah, <laughs> and then he he revives. No, he doesn't revive anybody. No, they no one dies really in that. They episode. die. No. They die. They they remember the he whole... joins this new he joins the guild. And they end up walking into a, a trap room where That's you can't. That's the beginning of the series. That's not the Christmas episode. It Christmas happens in it. Oh, that's not what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm talking about it revolving around Christmas or a holiday. All right. Okay. okay I see what you mean. Because I can't think of a show that revolves around Valentine's Day. You know? Does, does Ore Mangatari, our story... Revolve around Valentine's Day? I've never seen them. I haven't seen the Monogatari series. No, no, not Monogatari. Ori Monogatari. That's uh, the big dude who likes the little girl. I haven't seen it yet. We'd have to ask, we'd have to ask Travis on that because Travis I've, watched I it. I feel like it should, honestly. I feel like it does. Um, I know, Um, I think it's called like Nozaki-kun or something. Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun? Yeah, I know that one has a Valentine's episode. It has, yeah, it has an episode. It has a New Year's episode. It has a Christmas episode. That sh- that, it's a good show. Yeah. I honest, I, I watched that show. I wanted season two. Yeah, I watched that show. Enjoyed it. I think we kind of watched it together, did we? Or I think I, I watched it on my own. I, I was going to say, I either we both watched it on our own and we were like, that's a good show, or I watched it and then I rewatched it with you. I think we I think watched we both it watched separately. It, uh, we watched it separately. Yeah. Um, gosh. What's the next holiday? Isn't it Fourth of Easter. July? No, Easter. Easter. It's Easter. Oh! Another thing, I guess, uh, tradition, I guess I'd say that I have for a holiday is on every, in April, my favorite candy comes out. Mm. And that is the Jelly Bean Starbursts. Oh my god. Oh and my I just god. buy like six bags worth every time I go to the store. Yeah. I remember when you would tell me to go to Walmart and pick you up a bag every single day, like when I got off work. I think it was every single day. It, it was a lot. It was like, hey, could you get me a bag? Hey, could you get me a bag? Like, hey, do they have this? Like, I, I know that you loved it. And I remember picking it up a couple times without you even asking me and just being like, ah, it's Chompy's favorite snack. I'm going to get it for him. That's kind of interesting. I guess candy corn for me, right? Oh, my. Yeah, candy corn. Candy corn isn't you around? No. It's like Halloween-ish. Like only Halloween-ish? Mm, kind of. Uh. Pretty much. Well, I, I don't like candy corn, but or, I know you and Travis do. Or fall. It's like fallish once it turns. Fallish. I mean, all all places set up like, um, like a half a month in, in advance yeah. for their holidays. Christ. Except for except for Christmas, that starts on Thanksgiving. That starts the beginning of November. Yeah. Oh. oh, gosh, I have a story. I have something to tell you that I just remembered off podcast. Oh, all right. Or, or I could tell it on the podcast. It doesn't. I could just omit names. Yeah, just omit names. All right. So, what's my favorite manga? Uh, I'm trying to forget the name. I want to say it's either Gantz or Blom. It's on my arm. Oh. Oh, Yasumi Pun Pun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually want to reread it and have you reread it and then do a review on that. On I, would, that. I would love to do that. But, um, so, uh, Travis loves it too. I love it, right? Yeah. So, Travis. It's what our avatars are, are yeah. and it's the inspiration for the name of this podcast. Yeah, yeah. Um, I rec- we recommended it to a, a mutual friend, and they opened it, looked at the art style, and said, not a fan. I think you've told me this story. No, because this happened recently. Oh. Yeah, this happened super recently. They just said they were not a fan of the art style. And I don't know how 
to kill this person because <laughs> they are too far away. I, I just wanted to say that. Dang. So if any of you have advice for killing someone who's far away, leave down in the comments. The FBI is watching. Remember that. Hire an assassin. Hire an assassin. Like in Batman. Like in Batman. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Have, have you seen that film yet? No. Yeah, I mean, it's actually... It, I actually kind of enjoyed it. I was going to say, should we, should we do updates on future video plans that we plan on doing? We don't really have ideas for... We, Godzilla. More Godzilla. Well, I mean, we're, yeah, we're planning to do more Godzilla film, more Godzilla reviews. Godzilla vs. King Kong when it comes out. Yeah. Of course. Day one, hopefully. Like, fresh off the block. When well, we, we go uh, in... So you want to go to the theaters to go watch it? I, how else are we going to watch it? <laughs> HBO Max. We can watch it on HBO But that would be a Max. week later. Oh, fuck. It doesn't... It, HBO Max doesn't have the movies until a week later. Would you be against going to the theater and watching it? Oh, I'm going to the theater. I'm, wa- I'm going to go watch it day <laughs> one. It's well, my mom's birthday, so I'm probably going to take her. Mm, uh, yeah, I'm totally okay with watching it day one and then writing a, doing a review of it. Um, we've got apparently an Oyasumi Pun Pun review. Yeah. I- idea. I was actually rereading it because I was trying to find different emotions for Pun Pun to mm. do for like the, our mascots for like when we're talking to make yeah. the video more interesting. Yeah. But even then, it's like you just do your own thing as well. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to grab. But Well, um, it was like to get some ideas like, okay, what did this character yeah. look like angry? Because Pun Pun doesn't exactly have a mouth. I mean, there's times when like you see him, he has a mouth and he has a mm. smile, but like there's not much sense when he has a mouth. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of kind of going to be off topic, but I kind of really wanting to read uh, Inyo Asano's other work, DDD, DD, Demon Destroyer. But that is Stutter. Is that the actual title? That's, that's the actual title. It's DDD, DDD, Demon Destroyer. I, I think, think first you should read Chainsaw Man. I should read Chainsaw. It's I a need fast to, read. I need to read Chainsaw. It's fast read yeah there's oh, only wow. like 90 chapters <laughs> uh okay chainsaw man i gotta read jujutsu kaisen i gotta read ddd just watch the anime for jujutsu kaisen i don't want to watch the anime i want to read the manga first then watch the anime if uh, anything uh ddd demon destruction because apparently it's kind of like getting to its peak um oh so it's his new is it's his newest work ongoing it's been ongoing for a while, all right for like couple years i want to say um and i don't i don't necessarily have any other plans for things but video ideas we have come up with. i mean hey if we get an audience we'll be making money <laughs> <laughs> to fuel our bad addictions of yeah. anime and manga yeah <laughs> what do you call it a bad addiction oh sure i just want to look at all those uh funko pops on the dresser over there yeah i didn't buy i didn't buy a single one of those myself <laughs> they were gifts and i love okay. them okay 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 but okay. i guess the two things you said makes me think of um two other ones another one on top of another topic i want to talk about mm. so you said you'd rather read the manga than watch the anime i I'd, I'd rather read the manga first than watch the anime would that be your ideal one yeah. all the time or for the most part, all the time. All right, why would you say that? Because uh, I feel like if something has so much detail and, like, things to it to understand or get a feel for, that the manga, like, literally the source, it, like, information where everything's coming from is the best way to go. Because, like, if it's fucking, um, you know... <laughs> You know, you can watch a football game. You don't have to read the playbook to understand it, right? Okay. But if you're wanting to understand the football game, you have to read the playbook. And that that's how I kind of see it. And like Juju I I like I like how Jujutsu Kaisen looks. Oh, it's I like the idea of Jujutsu Kaisen. It's really good. I'm sad that I slept on the series when it first came out with the manga. Yeah. Cuz I read the first couple chapters and I, like I said I was like this thing kind of sucks. It's such a cliché kind of beginning because i it's probably nothing special huh but then you know watch the anime i'm like dang i should have continued jeez 
Same with Chainsaw Man. I did the same thing with Chainsaw Man. Wow. We had like the first, like I was reading them when they first came out. They had like four chapters out. Yeah. Do you know what, you want to know a funny thing about Chainsaw Man? What? Hunter was the first person, I think, in our entire social group to have read it. And he recommended it to me. Chapter one? Pretty much. Like when chapter one first yeah, came out. chapter one. All right, because I was going to say, I don't know, man. Like, he read it and he was like, hey, uh, I'm reading this new manga. He tells me when he reads new mangas and stuff. He's like, hey, I'm reading this new manga. And I, f- I, he compared the power or something to something else. And I was like, huh, that sounds interesting. Devil man. And, yeah, I think that's exactly what he said. Was that's that's what I said in my review. I'm like, it's. Just obviously inspired by Devil Man. Yeah, and then he he said, "I think you would like it," and I was like, "Okay, I'll think about it." And then I never never picked got it back up. to I it. I never picked up to up. And then he kept telling me how good it was once it got further in, but I just got to read it. Yeah, yeah do that was his thing. But I guess I don't I don't know because like I'm watching Attack on Titan right now, and I'm so tempted to go read the manga. Just because I'm like, I want to know what happens next. And the manga's right there. Yeah. Also, I'm just kind of like, whenever I see an Attack on Titan video, I hit not interested because I'm afraid I'm going to see like some massive spoiler. Yeah. Of course. I'm like, what's going to happen? Oh, that's just, that's just part of the biz, isn't it? Yeah. But other topic we want to talk about... Um, What's the best way to watch an ongoing series? Do you binge watch it? Like, you wait till it all comes out, you binge watch it? Do you think series should come out, like, all at once? Um, you think it should be weekly and you watch it weekly so there's anticipation and discussion? I was gonna say, I, I'd, have to, I'd have to say weekly. Yeah? We- weekly, yeah. And watch it weekly. Just because it it allows you to digest what you've just watched, you know? Okay, I, I kind of get that. Yeah, because it takes the kick away of anything if you watch something, something happens, and then you just get to that conclusion immediately. Where, I don't know, just letting it fester in your mind. Yeah, well, I guess I was thinking this with, uh, because, you know, WandaVision, WandaVision is weekly, and I was thinking the way Netflix does their stuff, and they just give you everything, the entire season. Yeah. And I was just wondering, like, you know, I want to watch all of WandaVision, but then, like, it made me think of that, like, I was able to watch all of Daredevil, like, you know, as soon as it got out, and just enjoy everything. Hmm. And then WandaVision, you know, it's just like, okay, the episode's over, and now I gotta wait a week. I feel like, uh, would you consider WandaVision mystery? In the beginning, yeah. I was gonna say... Because I, the big questions of WandaVision are like, why are they in this kind of sitcom world? Why is Vision alive? Yeah. And like, is she trapped? Why is Wanda here? Who trapped her? Yeah. Because I was gonna say, I think weekly, uh helps detective or mystery stories a lot more just because it gives you time like a chess move to like think about the next step you could almost connect the dots or predict or theorize all right but what okay what if shows came out like tv series came out like they gave you they didn't give you everything but they gave you like it in like arcs or acts like arcs if it's anime acts if it's not anime i'm okay with either it'd be like okay so imagine one piece barely comes out and um they wait and the first thing you get is all of um the first kind of arc with luffy getting his crew together his basic with um what what would you say the first arc is would it be it wouldn't be zoro's because zoro's is like done and like two episodes or single episode okay well then it would have i'd say like usopp would is usopp's like the first like arc that takes a while to kind of get through yeah yeah like yeah it goes all the way up to like usopp's arc and then the next one is all of sanji's and then maybe three yeah wait like you wait like a month or two and then they give you all of the arlong arc yeah no that wouldn't be bad at all i wouldn't mind that at all uh i was i was just thinking of an example though of like what if um Endgame or Avengers Infinity War came out 
and then they released Endgame a week later. Like, would you be okay with that? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. I don't know, that, that just seems kind of like, eh, to me. I mean, it'd be no different than if I was watching a series and had to wait the next week to find out what happened next. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's different for movies, because maybe you expect there to be more time in between them. What if movies weren't long, weren't like hours long and you only got 30 minutes of like a movie at a time? Sorry, I'm looking for Blade Runner. Uh, I would, I, I don't know. So, w- would it shorten the whole movie down? Well, no, it'd be like, well, like I said, it'd be like an act, like, as soon as, like, a cliffhanger type, an act ended, like, that'd be the end, and you'd have to, like, watch, wait till wait. next time to get the next snippet. Um, I mean, that breaks, uh, progression, right? With how stories are built, where it's, uh, what is it set up rising action climax falling action and then resolution it would just kind of break that up where you would get to a point where people would purposely skip the first act of a movie and watch the second act of a movie and if they liked it and they wanted to see the end they would watch the third act if they didn't like it and they just wanted to see the action they would just watch that second act you know, you saying that reminds me of uh, the King Kong Extended Edition. I was going to say, me saying that... The one that... that's on two discs, because the first disc is all the boring stuff up until they get to Skull Island. Yeah, yeah. And then the second disc is... Skull Island. All the stuff in Skull Island. Yeah. I was going to say, me saying that reminds me of myself walking into my sister watching uh, Endgame, the last 15 minutes of it. Where I just walk in, she's watching Endgame, and I'm sitting there watching it, and it's like, I don't, like... It wasn't the last 15 minutes. Oh, it was the last 20, 30 minutes or whatever. Yeah. But, like, nothing that was happening mattered to me, kind of thing, and things were just You were just happening. enjoying the action that was No, unfolding. I can't just turn my brain off. It's not just turning your brain off. But that's the thing, though, is, like... Things were happening, and I was just kind of like, okay. You say that just reminds me of, like, before streaming, when things would just be randomly on cable, and you'd yeah. come up on, like, maybe your favorite movie or movie you wanted to watch, and it's already, like, maybe I like storylines in. in my porn, okay, Chompy? Okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I don't care about them. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, I, I, I just like story, which is, like, why Blade Runner is like a really good one for me because if it was broken up into acts it wouldn't be that bad mostly well, I mean it is broken up into acts but I guess I was just saying like I don't know what I'm saying that was just the idea the idea of like how you would like to digest your series well, I was gonna say, or if movies weren't hours long I was gonna say here's a twist on that actually because most Quentin Tarantino films are split into acts yeah so what if like we watched the beginning of um what was it? Kill Bill? No. Hollywood? What was that one? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. What if we watched only the first part of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? How would you walk away from that movie? I guess you just wouldn't know what happened. You would be confused because it's about, you know, all you would see is uh, a washed up actor, a washed up uh, body double, kind of being weird people in general not even like dumb crazy or anything they're just trying to get by their life and you don't get to see what the effects of their circumstances by the end of the movie yeah even though those movies are broken up into acts well most movies are broken up into acts there's like the first act but that's happened reason, mid-act and that's the final that's what i'm act. saying though is Quentin Tarantino purposely puts in title cards to split up the acts. Oh, yeah, okay. Ingl- Inglorious Bastards has. Well, title I cards. thought you were meaning like Kill Bill Volume One, Kill Bill Volume Two. See, that's the thing. Kill Bill has title cards in it. It's always like uh, black. It, it'll just say like Black Mamba. Have you heard anything on the new one they're making? I have not, but I am interested. Why no? Why no? I told you the title, and you were just like, oh. Yeah, yeah, honestly. Uh, no. I guess the theory is that it's gonna be the little girl that she let live in the first... The first part of the first movie. Yeah. Going for her now. Copperhead's daughter. 
I don't. Yeah, I forget their names. I'm, they're all snakes. Yeah, but I don't know what snakes they. I just know that she was the black mamba, the main character. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty. How sure old is that actor now? Uma Thurman. Was that Uma Thurman? Yeah. No. I believe so. No. What? <laughs> I gotta check this. I'm pretty sure that's Uma Thurman. As Black Mamba? The Bride? Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's Uma Thurman. Don't tell me I'm wrong. Oh yeah, it's Uma Thurman. Wait, oh, what other yeah. films has she been in that... I honestly could not tell you. I only know her really as Kill Bill. Batman, Percy Jackson. I think she was Medusa in Percy Jackson. Good pick. I used to have a little crush on Uma Thurman. I guess for some reason you said Uma Thurman, and I don't know why I was thinking of the chick from Resident Evil, but I guess I'm just getting the names mixed because up. Because they could be body doubles, honestly. <laughs> It probably could. But I like her too. She's really good. Um, what is her name? Natasha? Something Natasha? I don't know. I like her. She's good. But another thing, uh, we got the first trailer to the new Mortal Kombat movie. Yeah. Do you want me to go first? Or yeah. Okay. What, what do you think? Okay. I I have fully accepted my role as the hipster slash cont- contrarian. I watched the first 10 seconds of the trailer and I was like, Ugh, and I stopped. So you didn't watch the rest of the I didn't, trailer? I didn't watch the rest of the trailer because I just saw kind of B action, kind of like, oh, look how brutal. I don't know, it didn't intrigue me. But is Mortal Kombat not brutal? It is, but just like ripping fatalities from it. And, like, having the weird cliche things that pretty much every movie has. What cliche thing? Sub- Sub-Zero freezes a bullet after it's shot out of a gun. And you don't think that's awesome? I don't, because I've seen it in fucking everything. It's literally in Incredibles, bro. It's as cool as that scene in Incredibles, but less cool because Sub-Zero doesn't even say anything funny or haha. He grabbed the barrel and did it as it shot out. Yeah. That, that, uh, am I supposed to think that's cooler? I guess, I don't know, man. I think, I think Samuel L. Jackson saying, I'm just getting a drink of water is cooler than him going, grrr, I freezed your gun. I don't know, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. And then I saw that they are, they're using, I stopped right after, uh. Well, they're using Liu Kang, Kung Lao. Jax. Jax, Sonya. Sub-Zero. Kano, Sub Zero, Scorpion, Raiden, Shang Tsung, Shang Tsung, Shang Tsung. I don't know how to say his name. I mean, I don't know. I don't really know either. <laughs> and um, a new guy that's not Johnny Cage, that's just new entirely to Mortal Kombat, named Cole. Cole? Yeah. Let's see. The coal train? Well, I mean, I'll say one thing that I think is kind of really stupid about it. I guess if you're chosen for the tournament of Mortal Kombat, you have a fucking birthmark of the logo. That is stupid. Yeah, I thought, like, that's kind of stupid. Man, oh, man. That must suck. What if you just, like, had a kid and they had that birthmark and you're like, can't afford to train you i like like i can't take you to kung fu classes i can't take you to acrobat like let's... i've seen cobra kai no it's and i have not i have not either my dad actually watched all of it though but um but what if you were just like oh best i can do is gymnastics you're gonna have to fight with gymnastics man or aer- aerobics get some nice uh kegels going possibly but <laughs> Yeah, it's a new guy. Um, Don't know how well he's going to fare. I mean, it's not like he's going to be the main character of the series. And that, that might just be so the story is more kind of grounded. And it's not like, oh, we're seeing Liu Kang go through the same tournament again that we've seen a hundred times. Yeah, yeah. But I, I'm excited. I'm, I'm hoping it's good, mainly because the director that's doing it, this is his first work. So it's like, I want this director to start off on a good note. 
I, I mean, well, we'll, we'll just be honest. Are you expecting a lot from a Mortal Kombat movie? Like, what does it need for you to be satisfied with it? Not to be a movie. <laughs> Not to be a movie? <laughs> exactly. God, like, you really are the hipster of the group. I don't know. I just don't like the idea of... I, okay. A video game oh, no, movies? Okay, no, okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing that would make me watch a Mortal Kombat movie, okay? If Kevin Hart was Jax? No. If there was no tournament. If it was literally just like the, the world in itself. You can have characters from the games. You can have places from the games. You can have all that. You can have the lore of the entire game. Just stop taking the game and making it not a game because that makes it not fun. True, but if they do that, that kind of eliminates what Mortal Kombat is. Honestly, though, I thought it was going to be kind of a detective buddy cop show of two random cops trying to chase down Sub-Zero. And that, honestly... Striker and Cabal? Yeah, that... That actually would be interesting. I'd watch it because I love Cabal. I was going to say, that interested me from the beginning. And then once... uh, So what? where I stopped... Where I stopped... Okay. So I watched uh, Sub-Zero break off Jax's arms. For spoilers for the trailer, by the way. Skip to those time saying No, I'm joking. Um, I watched him break off his arms, and I was like, oh, cool, Sub-Zero's the bad guy in this movie. I'm totally okay with that because he's an assassin, right? And then the next fucking scene opens up with five people, I think, from the games going, Sub-Zero's going around killing people, and I stopped. I was like, I was like, there's Jax, there's Sonya, like, no, I'm not watching this movie. Fuck this movie, because I don't give a shit about the the game it's the game in movie form it's not fun to watch all right you know what made the resident evil movie fun that it wasn't it wasn't the game yeah they didn't just go hey let's take the manner from the games and let's put that into movie form they went hey so the manner's a thing let's just delve into that and they were like, hey, there's an underground basement thing to the manor, and it's called The Hive, and we're going to stay in The Hive for the entire movie. I get what you mean. Yeah, it's just, if they're just going to steal, I'm not gonna, I'm not interested. All right. Well, I guess um, so you, you've talked, you, Travis, and, and are going to have talked about this. What about the Borderlands movie? irritates all of us really it it, ir- oh, it, I, it I know it irritates me it irritates me to the point that i have to go see the movie because i'm like when they announced it, i don't understand you they announced no they announced it and i was they announced we're making a borderlands movie and i said this is gonna be horrible this is gonna be the mario brothers 2 okay and then they said hey guess who's playing roland Kevin Hart, I was like, all right, you've you've got my ticket. You've got my ticket with that alone. If it was just a Borderlands-themed Kevin Hart comedy special where it's just him standing on a stage dressed up as Roland telling his normal jokes, I would have bought that ticket three times. But the casting, I don't know. we, We just don't know what they're doing with it because it's... Part of it is a. They're probably gonna steal from a game. We're we're gonna we're gonna. I'm gonna wonder about that. My mom told me she enjoyed Monster Hunter the movie. Apparently, okay. Well, before, okay, we'll get back to that here in a second. But um, if they steal from a game, it's gonna be horrible. If they don't steal from a game, it wouldn't be that bad. If it was a side story, but then it wouldn't make sense because if they're using these characters, it won't make sense. Uh, other than that, it it's a train wreck. We can all see it coming. It's a train wreck coming. Okay. I so the Monster Hunter movie. I imagine she enjoyed it. Yeah. Why? Why? Why do you think? Why do you think she enjoyed it? Well, she told me she enjoyed it. Yeah. No. Why? Why do you think she enjoyed it? Can you infer? I don't know. Did I you didn't watch my... it? No, I did not. Okay, I didn't watch it either. But I've been told by a couple people that it was scary. It was scary. It was scary. Ooh. Scary. A Monster Hunter movie was scary. Um, but I also heard that the monster design for the 
for the movie was really good, but everything else kind of sucked. I see. Yeah. I mean, are there special monsters? Oh, yeah. The whole show is about, or the whole game's about special monsters. All right, we're back. I was gonna say the whole the whole game is about special monsters. It's a whole universe built around weird combination monsters, kind of thing. But they went a little easy on it, I think, or they went too hard. One of the two, I can't tell. We can. I got another one for we can do to finish it off. We can re, we can give our reactions to the twenty twenty one anime awards. Mm, okay. All right. You don't seem down for that. I, I'm down. I'm down. I just know I'm gonna be like okay, okay, okay. I don't know if there's anything that I really wanted to win or not. So hit me with. All right. Me. So the first one for best character design. I actually haven't seen this anime. Toilet bound Hanako kun. Oh, I think I know that show. I didn't watch it, but because it looked extremely weird. But that's a show where they're um, kappas or they're tanukis. I don't remember, and they like go through toilets. And, and, oh, oh no! This doesn't. St- is this really what it's about? I think so, but uh, I might be wrong. If it's not what I'm thinking. Is there a picture of it? Yeah. Is that it right there? Yep. I have no idea. I actually have no idea. All right. And it beat Keep Your Hands Off, Izuko Kun, The Great Pretender. Wow. Brand New Animal, Tower of God, and Yasha Hime. I mean, I, I'm i surprised Yasha Hime is on there, honestly. Why? I don't know, because the characters are just like mis mishmashes of their parents kind of thing is that what you kind of expect though yeah but i also i didn't think they were gonna dive too hard onto uh this child acts a lot like inuyasha this child acts a lot like kagome <laughs> and then they were and then with uh sango and the monk it's just like this their kid is a mixture he's she is both like very good at fighting and like very good, but she's got a silly side. I don't know. They, it was just like they. I haven't seen any Yashihime yeah, yet, so I can't really give kinda, my two cents. They kind of just delved too hard into it being Inuyasha too. Uh Yeah. So nothing interesting's happened yet that you know of. Not like no good villains, no good story. Not really. It's Shashan. No, it's not Shashan. Maybe I forget the name of the villain. Nisho, no, 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 no. Naroku? Naroku. <laughs> like Naroku didn't come back Emperor style? I actually don't know. You thought you killed me off, but you didn't. <laughs> we needed to bring old fans in. This is the only way we could do it. Alright, so this is an anime I actually want to watch for best... What was it? Best animation Keep Your Hands Off Izo Izoken. Or Izokin. I'm not sure how you'd say that. Keep your hands off. And they were showing clips of the anime. It actually looked really good animation-wise. Like, I'm like, holy crap. Do you know what it was? Oh, that's the one with the three girls. Yeah, oh. there's three girls. I yeah, don't know what no. it's about. That, the, the, have you seen the opening? No. The opening's really good. It's got a really good song. All right, I, I got a little game for you. Uh, either the next one or a random one. Don't tell me what the nomination's for. Just tell me what the anime is, and I'll guess what the nomination's for. All right. Oh, and the runner-ups for that one was Great Pretender, God of High School, Apare, Ranman, and Beastars. Oh. Yeah, no, Beastars. I don't think All right. Next happen. nomination, Hero Academia Season 4. Best fight scene. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Deku versus Overhaul. Best fight scene. Wow. Overhaul. I don't even 
God, I'm so happy I stopped watching. Why? New Academia. I don't know. I just don't. I don't know. I don't think I could do four seasons of that. I mean, so, so there's a limit on how much anime no, episodes No, there's, there's a limit to how many times I can see a character punch a wall and hurt himself. He doesn't <laughs> do that anymore. I just like the idea of that. All right, next nomination. Tony Kawa, Over the Moon for You. Best soundtrack. No. No? What? Best couple. Oh. What, what were the runner-ups for that one? What were the runner-ups for the... Did you read the runners for the action scene? Um, Jujutsu Kaisen, Gojo versus Sukuna. The God of High School, Jin Mori versus Jegai Taik. Sword Art Online, another God of High School fight, and Akudama, Akudama, Akudama Drive. Huh. Okay. But yeah, Tony Kawa, Over the Moon for You, Best Couple, best couple and the runner-ups were the couple from Love is War, Okay. Legoshi and Haru from Beastars, which I, I'm calling bullshit oh, on that. Oh, yeah, that bullshit. Super bullshit on that. Um, Inspector... My next life is a villainess and rent a girlfriend. Dude, I need to watch Rent a Girlfriend. It's actually pretty good. I enjoyed it. I imagine it seems like a pretty good show. I'm excited for season two. Nice. All right, next one, <clears throat> Ray Zero season two. <laughs> um. Oh God, I don't know how I want to phrase this. Best. Death? Nope. Cutest girl? Nope. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Um, it's not what you think it is. Oh, God. It's more of an outside thing about it. Oh. Um. Oh, my gosh. Uh. Best. Oh, God. I kind of want to say, like, best reoccurring show nope okay what is it best voice actor oh for the mc he won best voice award damn really yeah and they beat wave listen to me toilet bound hanako kun jujutsu kaisen keep your hands off and the millionaire detective balance unlimited never okay. heard of that yeah <coughs> all right then this is one that travis said that people were just simping Okay. Hero Academia. Best girl. No. Just simping. Best show. No. Um, that were just simping. Oh, best boy love scene. No. <laughs> okay, what is it? Best English voice actor. Oh. Hawks. Of course. Okay. And yeah, Travis said they were just sipping on that because it was like, every, uh, Hawks hasn't even done that much. Yeah. People that are anime onlys don't even know what Hawks about just yet. Yeah. He's only appeared in one episode and the movie. And he's already got best voice actor. Best English voice best actor. Best English voice actor award. So it's people just watching the anime and Hearing his voice we don't know if they yeah. know of the, of the manga, of what's going on in the manga with him. Gotcha. So yeah, Travis said like, yeah, they're just simping. He hasn't even done that much. It's just like, oh, this cool guy. Okay. All right, then. The next nominee was Love is War. Oh, best romance. Nope. Damn. Best opening. Best romance was, where did you went through best oh, romance? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we already go through best opening? No. Best ending. Nope. Okay, what is it? Best girl. Damn it! Is it, uh... Chise? What, is, what was your name? The pink girl. Kaguya. Oh, really? The main girl? Yeah. Wow. Why... How'd she beat the pink-haired girl? I think because the pink-haired girl won last year, maybe? Uh -oh. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's weird that people, like, come around now out of nowhere. Shh. All right, the next one. Haikyuu to the top. Ooh. 
Best drama? No. Ooh. Oh my god, it's finally happening. What? That That's my guess. Oh my god, it's finally happening. Their fourth season? Fifth season? What season is this? This is the fourth season. Um, Best climax? Nope. Okay, what is it? Uh, Best boy. The, ma- the, the main, the main. Okay, yeah. The main character. N- Nisho? Yeah, yeah, and he beat... The runner-ups were Kaiman, Doe Hedero. Whoa! Gojo Satoru, Jujutsu Kaisen. Kun Agnes, Tower of God. Legoshi, Beast Stars. Okay, yeah. I can, and I can. Anos Voldialoid, The Misfit of a Demon King Academy. Mm-hmm. I, I would be honestly, like, so surprised if people thought uh, Kaiman deserved Best Boy Award. <laughs> honestly. Why do you say that? Because it's Kaiman. But, yeah. I mean, I, I understand you. I mean, when I was watching Dory Hedero, it was like, these if these main casts are kind of dicks. Like, I was going to say, you, you, you know him like that. It's like, these wizards, were, were they wizards or what do they call them? Sorcerers. These sorcerers aren't even antagonizing them. Mm. And they just walk up on one and murder the person. Yeah. I'm like, jeez. But I'm also just talking about like how all he does is like sleep and eat and all that. Like, And also he just uh, fights and does not. Like, he, he's kind of a, a weird pick for best boy in general. Kind of yeah. Thing. Also, he's a dude. <laughs> All right, then, uh, next nominee. Keep your hands off is Isokin. They won a lot of awards. Best soundtrack? No. Oh, best opening? No. Really? What was that opening called? Mr. Cool or something like that? Um, oh, Easy Breezy. It's called Easy Breezy. That's what it's called. Um. Mm, best art style. We we already went through art Damn style. Damn it! We already did. Sorry, my goldfish memories hurt me. Okay, what is it? <laughs> best director. Okay, no, that fully understand. Yeah, that, that is it, good. It beats Decadence, Jujutsu Kaisen, The Great Pretender, Love Is War, and Tower of God. Okay. The next one, Tower of God one. Mm. Is this an outside the box one too? Yeah, you've already said you've already said like what you you've guessed what it would be for on one of the old ones. Oh, damn it! Now I wish I kind of like best soundtrack. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay. Best score. Best score. Hell yeah! All right, then it beat the Great Pretender, B Stars, Keep Your Hands Off. Really? Izoka Ken, God of High School, and Japan Sinks 2020. Wow. And the next one, which I was happy for, Beastars. Most creative opening. You were close. It was, yeah, best opening. Oh, okay. I'm Honestly, I didn't think, uh, I don't, like, it was a good opening, but honestly, the creativity of that opening. I think that's why it won. The, yeah. This idea that it was like a stop motion yeah. opening. I think that's the only reason it won, yeah. to be honest. But I'm happy it won because mm. it was like, that was really interesting. And I'm so sad they didn't do the same thing for season two. Yeah. Is season two out? I hear it's out. <laughs> Damn. I actually got I actually got um, Jay into it. I think I told you about that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, she, yeah. Told, she, um, she loves Zootopia and... Mm. She was. I was saying, like, you like Zootopia? Like, this is like a Adult. a darker Zootopia, yeah. or less less developed Zootopia. Maybe mm. it's the beginning because carnivores still have those urges. Yeah. Huh. And it beat Keep Your Hands Off, Jujutsu Kaisen, The Great Pretender, Love Is War, and Haiku to the Top. The next one, Jujutsu Kaisen. Best character design. We already did that. Oh, yeah, fuck. That was the toilet one. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I don't know what other nominations they would have. Okay, what is it? Best ending. Best ending, okay. I think you saw, I think you've probably heard things about the ending, right? I don't think so. 
Oh, well, when you eventually get to the anime, you'll see. Okay. Yeah, I beat The Great Pretender. I gotta watch that anime. It's been so. It's been on so many things. Yeah. The Great Pretender. Uh, it's. It seems pretty good. I heard. It's, it's, I heard it's a bunch of con men. Yeah. It, I mean, Great Pretender, the greatest and, con man kind of thing. Oh, and uh, beat brand new animal Dore Hedero. Good. The millionaire detective. Actually, the ending and opening to Dore Hedero is kind of banger. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, Mappos does pretty good with that stuff. Mm-hmm. The next one, Ray Zero again. Sad as death. No. Okay. What is it? Best fantasy. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. And it beat Decadence, Dore Hetero, Tower of God, and Dragon Quest. Hmm. Other one, Love is War again. Best romance. No, but you're on the right track. Fuck, okay. Real best was Tony Kawa, dude. Best comedy. Yes. Okay. And it beat Izaku Kun, My Next Life is a Villainous, The Sleepy Princess in the Demon Castle, and Misfit of Demon King Academy. Okay. This one, I, I gotta watch this show, Fruit Baskets. Ooh, the newest season of Fruit Baskets. God. What would I give fruit baskets? I don't know what I would give it. Because if we've already done best romance, I don't know. I actually have no guesses for this one because I don't know. What best I'd drama. Give it. Okay. Really? Did, did season one end with a cliffhanger for more drama to happen in season two? Possibly, I don't know. I watched the first series of Fruit Baskets that did its own ending because the manga had not yet yeah, finished. Yeah, yeah, okay. But okay. this one's a retelling of the entire series. It's okay. kind of like the, it's getting the brotherhood treatment. Yeah, okay. This next one, I don't think you're going to be guessing it because I haven't even seen this anime. I don't even know what it's about. Okay. My next life as a villainous all routes lead to doom. Best. Did, did we already do best action? It'd be wrong anyways. Okay, what is it? Best protagonist. Oh, oh god damn it! Oh, I don't. Oh, they're always so specific. Next one, Jujutsu Kaisen again. What is it? Best antagonist. Oh, okay, damn it! I should have guessed. And it, the runner-ups were N, Dore Hetero. Mm. Rachel, Tower of God, Akido, Fruit Baskets, Echidna, or as Travis likes to call her, Enchilada, Enchilada. Ray Zero, Overhaul, My Hero Academia. Okay. Which I'm surprised hey. Overhaul did not win. Yeah. I don't know. All maybe. right, then. Final one. I think I, I've already told you this one because I said it in the group chat. Jujutsu Kaisen. It's the highest award. Best anime of the year. Yep. Okay, okay. And the runner-ups were Keep Your Hands Off, Eizoku-kun, Dore Hedero, okay, no. The Great Pretender, Apare Ranman, and Beastars. Okay, Dore Hedero shouldn't give you, you be in the runner-up there. <laughs> Why? It was not a good anime, honestly. It wasn't good. Not a good anime. Take offense to that. I enjoyed it. They ended it in a weird spot. You need to read the manga. I do, but I'm kind of holding out for a season two. I wouldn't hold out for a season two, especially because they skip a lot of weird things. But, um... Oh, gosh. But keep keep your hands off of Isaac and... Isaac and that one... That one's a good one. Yeah, have I'm you seen um, Aho Girl? Bits and pieces. A couple episodes. Oh, you oh. should watch. You should binge watch it tonight. There's like they're like six eleven minute episodes. You could probably watch the entire series. Yeah, in yeah. One go, mm. and it's just it's a hilarious anime. Travis was talking about. I'm like, I want to watch it again because yeah. That's the the girl with the banana. Yes, okay. she's a stupid girl. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. 
And that concludes this episode of the Tinkle Hoy podcast. If you have ideas for topics, um, leave them down in the comics, comments. You could email us at tinklehoy at gmail.com. Uh, what can they find you, Quentin? Uh, you can find me nowhere right now. Nowhere? You're not, you're not streaming anymore? I'm, I'm going to get up. I got to upgrade my, uh, my computer. Oh, Before my I... brother is now a PC. Good, good person. That's nice. He just spent so much money on getting a monitor, getting a mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. Once you get a monitor, though, it's pretty much like the most expensive part. Cause uh, good graphics cards are kind of cheap right now. You can get like a top tier. Why are they cheap? Uh, I don't know. It was something because they came out with like a uh 1080 or like no, it was a 2080. They came out with a 2080. And it was like a thousand two hundred dollars. Then they came out with a thirty eighty, and it's six hundred dollars. Dang. Yeah, just because of like the pro how they make it or something, they were able to make it cheaper. So streaming is on the back burner for a while because <clears throat> issues. Uh- <laughs> Me, you could find my artwork on Untoasted Art as well as my other two friends, um, Toasty Toasty Cat and ghost toast i actually recently did a new piece which i'm actually collaborating with toasty cat i did the drawing and um she's going to do the coloring but it's of power from chainsaw man so if you're a fan hopefully you enjoy that piece and hopefully other people enjoy it and buy it when we eventually go to our con this year Mm. if it doesn't get canceled yeah of course that would be rough until next time